Who let this baby low? Good morning. My name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. We do have an Arctic Vet family YouTube channel that I'd like to ask you guys to go over and subscribe to. Tell all your friends to subscribe as well. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers on that channel too because what's better than one monetized channel? Two. And then maybe three and four and five and who knows where God's going to take us because this is why we're here. Faith, family, fun. And with that being said, today we will be reading chapter 15 in Genesis out of our Bible. And I have it sitting here, but I also have something else a little special to add in. So stick around for the end because you're going to want to see it. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I'm excited to open this package because I, I, don't, <coughs> I don't quite know what's all in there. Excuse me. Whew. But I want to know. So we're going to open up the mail time box at the end of the vlog so stick around let's get before we dive into genesis 15 we're going to read our day-by-day -day devotions for dads now this book you can get down below i have a link to it you can get the same book you can get the same bible and honestly this one's amazing so for today's is be there for the process failure is simply the opportunity to begin again this time more intelligently henry ford how you respond when one of your kids fails is one great challenge of fatherhood you want them to get back on the horse you want them to tough it out and try again but sometimes the right thing to do is step back and not push too hard maybe your daughter isn't going to be the next serena williams maybe your son isn't going to be chosen in the mlb draft dad the only way you'll pre be prepared with the right words and attitude is if you've invested in the day-to-day -day routine if you just show up at the final match or the end of the season competition, then you have no idea what to expect. You may swagger in with the anticipation of victory, but that may be unrealistic. You'll feel out of the loop and ill-equipped to deliver the right kind of comfort or congratulations. You want to really enjoy your child's victories or offer the right kind of support when they lose? Then be there for the process. Once in a while, stick around and watch their practices. Talk about their goals on the car ride home. Volunteer to be an assistant coach. Help them with drills or invest in some professional quality gear. Don't push. Partner. What about you? It's easy to cheer a winner from the sidelines. The tough part is seeing victory even in defeat. Also, it's always a good reminder to acknowledge and accept extraordinary small percentage of high school athletes who gain full ride scholarships or turn pro. <laughs> Be there for the process. Be there for the process. You know, that, that, it's that easy. It's that easy. You want to have kids? Be there. Be there for them kids because God blessed you with those kids for a reason. I don't know the reason, but I know he blessed you with them. Just like he blessed me with all my children. And I absolutely love every each and one of them. Let's dive into the Bible. This Bible, there is a link down below in the description. You can also read the same exact Bible. So go ahead, get yours ordered and start reading along with us. We are going to read chapter 15 in Genesis. And chapter 15 in Genesis is God's covenant with Adam. Um, not Adam. Abraham. I apologize. <laughs> God's covenant with Abraham. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision. Fear not, Abraham. I am your shield. Your reward shall be very great. But Abraham said... Abram, I did it again, because we were just talking about how Abram's name gets gets changed. Uh, we read a Bible for the kids, with the kids, and it, it's great. I'll have to, maybe I'll have to throw that in here one of these days. 
So, back to where we were. But Abram said, O Lord God, what will you give me? For I continue childlessly, and the heir of my house is Eliezer of Damascus. And Abram said, Behold, you have given me no offspring, and a member of my household will be my heir. My heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came to him. This man shall not be your, your heir. Your very own son shall be your heir. And he brought him outside and said, Look toward heaven and the number of stars, if you are able to number them. Then he said to him, So shall your offspring be. And he believed the Lord, and he counted it to him as righteousness. And he said to him, I am the Lord who brought you out of your of Chaldean, Chaldeans to give you the land, this land to possess. But he said, O Lord God, how am I to know what I shall possess it, that I shall possess it? He said to him, Bring me a heifer three years old, a female goat, goat three years old, a ram three years old, a turtle dove, and a young pigeon. And he brought him all of these, cut them in half, and laid each half over against the other. But he did not cut the birds in half. When, and when the birds of prey came down on the carcasses, Abram drove them away. As the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell on Abram, and behold, dead, dread, dreadful and great darkness fell upon him. Then the Lord said to Abram, Know for certain that your offspring will be sojourns in a land that is not theirs, and will be servants there, and they will be afflicted for four hundred years. But I bring judgment on the nation that they serve, and afterwards they shall come out with great possessions. As for you, you shall go to your fathers in peace. You shall be buried in a good old age, and they shall come back here in the fourth generation for the inquiry. Iniquity of the Amorites is not yet complete. When the sun had gone down and it was dark, behold, a smoking pot fire, fire pot, and flaming torch passed between these pieces. On that day, the Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying, to your offspring I give this land, from the river to Egypt, to the great river, the river Euphrates, the land of Canaanites, the Kinesis, the Catamines, the Hittites, the Perizzites, Perizzites, the Rephaim, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Jerusites and the Jebusites. And that brings us to chapter 16. Sari and Hagar. Thank you guys for sticking around. And if you've stuck around this far, you know what? You're amazing. I appreciate you. I love each and every one of you. Now, let's dive in to this package. Now, I, I've already cut it and uh, it's it's not Avon, it's not Avon, but that, that right there, that is some Hot Wheels. Look at that. We got us a, a six set of Hot Wheels. We got a money clip up here. Dude, that's sweet. Whoa. A 2017 Hot Whoa. Wheels. Whoa, look at that one. Yes, I love these little modified I like that race one. cars. That one is cool. We got some more. Hold on, don't be digging in here. There's mm, even more. I like that one. I like yeah, it's that like one. a little spider. spider one. That's so cool. Yeah. It's got a soccer one. Look at one. Spider Man. And look, there's even more, guys. They just keep <gasps> coming. Oh, yes. Mm. 
These ones are some that we do not have in our collection, but this is easily going to put our collection Ooh. up there a ways. Oh, I have that one. Another brick one. I have this Look. one. Yes, and now Daddy has it too. I got a Zonda. We got a C. A Zonda. Hold on, hold on. Ooh, yeah, we got us a race car. I got Cohen has that one apparently. He has all of these. The brick and delivery. I don't have that one yet. That one looks like the chicken. Those all come from Don. PA Carb Session. Please go over to his YouTube channel and subscribe because man, this is so awesome. Like I'll find a hot wheel that he needs and send it to him and he'll find something that I need and he sends it to me. It's it's awesome. If you guys are into Hot Wheels too, you know what? Let us know. I'll keep my eye out for you and we'll work something out to get you the hot wheel that I find that you needed. Who knows? It might just be something you really need. So with uh I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. The dogs are playing. They're playing fetch over there with the kids. And if you did enjoy this vlog, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click the red subscribe button and we will catch you in another video. Have a great day. God bless. Don't ever give up. God is here with you. Yeah. You are a child.